Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new YouTube video and today we are opening something that I have been trying to get for a long time but never wanted to spend the money. I should have just done a long time guys, but here we are. I'm not going to waste any time rolling right into this, opening it up. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos recently. You know, there's a, a big change in my channel where we're getting a lot less views and stuff, but it's kind of like this wave that I'm going through now because I'm like a transitioning my channel. So we'll see how it goes. Um, if you guys aren't enjoying the videos, just let me know why and I'll try my best to fix them. But all right, here is what we are unboxing today. It is the Victive AT40. Now this is a camera tripod. I have had the most crappy tripod my entire YouTube career. It's a tripod that my brother used to use back in the day and I'm looking at it right now. It is. <laughs> it is just so bad guys you have to like screw on the camera every single time um, it only like sits like this high and so like when I'm standing the camera goes like to here it's just such a difficult thing to film videos when you have an awful tripod guys but without further ado I think we should just get right into the video so I know you guys don't really care about me it's kind of sad but whatever I'm gonna face you guys down there you guys go so here it is let's just open it up here uh, good packaging oh it comes in a bag Nice. So again, this thing on Amazon, guys, is $80 for the orange and like $85 for the black one. Um, I just got like an orange and black one. I think it looks actually kind of cool, but some people, I guess, would probably prefer just the black. I don't know why it's more expensive, but oh well. So here is the tripod. Guys, this is, holy cow, this is beefy. Okay, um, in here, have a couple different things. Uh, your quick connector, uh, we'll go into that in a second. In here, we got instructions, of course. And this bag, that's pretty cool. It's actually a pretty nice bag. You can carry it around, a little handle. Inside here is the tripod. So let's just open this guy up. Wow, guys, that is my first ever real tripod. And you guys think like, a lot of YouTubers are like, Oh yeah, you know, you need a good tripod, you need this, you need that, uh, you, you don't, you know, I, I never spent money on a tripod, which maybe I could have back in the day, um, but I, I just didn't. Yeah, so as I unfold these legs here, you can hear it click, looks like it's got a couple different settings, but this thing is really beefy, guys. I, I'm honestly not sure if I'm even doing this right, right now. You know, this thing stands like 80 inches tall, which obviously is overkill, but affiliate time. ExpressVPN is the number one VPN in the market. VPNs are used to keep online activity private and ensure access to sites and services that are restricted in your location. This means with ExpressVPN, you can access online gambling websites, block Netflix shows, and even save money by changing your location before purchases. I made a deal with ExpressVPN where you guys can get a 49% discount plus three free months if you purchase the 12 month plan. Just clicking the first link in the description of this video and checking it out helps support the channel and helps you make more videos like this one. And that's all. Thanks. Now enjoy the rest of the video. The idea of it here, um, obviously you have these, these twists, uh, these twist legs that extend, right? So you loosen this, pull it and you just tighten it like that. Super simple. Tighten and loosen the legs. And guys, there's so much room here. Obviously I'm going to show you guys me standing next to it, how big this thing really is. Like <laughs> this is ridiculous. Um, obviously, you know, you don't really ever need it that high. I don't think, I, I couldn't think of myself a reason that I would need a tripod to be this high. You know, it, it's super heavy, like it's not super heavy, but it's super duty. You can, you could feel like it's, it's definitely made to last and it's it's made so that it's not gonna get blown down from the wind or anything like that. So there's a couple things that we're gonna look at on here, but in this bag, the contents of this bag has, you have this weird looking tube thing. It's threaded on the inside, so we'll take a look at what that is in a minute. Obviously, you gotta have a couple, di couple different tools here. Here is something that I'm going to love and I've never had the luxury of, but this is a quick connect plate, so that's gonna be super cool. I'm no longer gonna have to unscrew the camera every time. It also comes with these really two weird looking bolts. I don't know. Uh, we will look at the instructions and we'll see what we need to do here. Holy cow, this thing extends too. Got a lot of extension going on here. So a cool thing about this tripod is, I don't know if you guys can tell, but so down here is this little metal uh, piece here. It's really hard to kind of see, but it's this little metal piece I'm holding. It actually acts as a counterweight. So if you're filming in like windy environments, you can put like your backpack here or something to weigh it down so that it doesn't tilt or tip over, which is pretty nice actually. On this side here, you have a little level, so it tells you if your camera's level or not, which is also helpful for when shooting video. So another cool thing about this tripod, guys, is you can actually loosen this top piece here all the way up, and if you loosen it enough, it'll literally just come right out, just like this. 
And then once you have this out, you can detach one of the legs and then you can put it together and you can have like a mono tripod with just like one leg that you can hold. So that's also super cool. And you can put the leg down and you know, just have like a mono tripod instead of having like three legs. So that is also something super cool about this tripod that other tripods really don't offer. I don't know if I'm ever gonna use that, but for like photographers, it's really cool. If I ever wanted to take pictures and stuff, I could definitely see myself using that. So this is also like another height extension. So this small little piece here, you can put this at the top of the tripod to increase the height this much more, which I don't know what they're shooting at like at 80 inches high. Like that's crazy to me. I don't know what you'd shoot that high. Perhaps if you're trying to like shoot on onto a stage, you know, you can get the camera up that high, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's two quick connect plates. So I didn't, I didn't notice that, but you basically screw this onto your camera so then you just take your camera and literally just put it in here and as you can see like it doesn't move back and forth it has two pins that stop it from being able to move and then you have this little twist on the side here so once you have it in you just twist it like this and then you're now locked into your tripod which is super cool super easy to be taking the camera like you just loosen this you just you loosen this right here, you just take your camera off and then you can shoot with your hand. You shoot, you know, you can film with your camera. This is also on top, this is a ball joint. So as you guys can see here, if you loosen this, this thing can move around like super loosely. If you tighten this up, this thing is not moving anywhere. You can't move it. So you loosen this and you can move it up to level and obviously you can get your, your camera shot level here. So that's like perfectly level and I would just tighten this down here. And so now this thing's not gonna move, it's perfectly level and it's good to go. Um, this is another knob down here. Now, if you loosen this knob, all this does is allow you to spin your tripod like this and you will get like super nice shots. Um, and you could do, you know, you loosen it more, it's gonna spin faster, you know, you, you tighten it up, it's, it's gonna stay, you're not gonna be able to spin this. So loosen it up and you can spin it really nice, guys. It's so smooth to be able to spin. That's crazy. I'm going to now attach that camera to this one and show you guys the old tripod that I was using, all right? So let's do that really quick. So let's just go ahead and loosen this plate here. Um, take this out, and all I'm gonna do is screw this onto the bottom of the camera. So you don't have to do this every time. You leave this on the bottom of your camera every time. Um, you don't ever take this off. It's as easy as guys like taking my camera like this, and as you guys can see, it's off of here and I just slide it right onto here. Boom, tighten it down real easy. The knob's big enough so that you don't hit the camera with your hand. And just like that, guys, my camera's on the new tripod. <laughs> that is insane. I don't know what to say about that. That was super quick to just be able to, to do. That is so sick. I can actually see what's level now and not. This is my old tripod. <laughs> as you can tell, the connector just fell out the thing. It's obviously on its last leg, guys. Um, this is what I was using. It's not even for this camera, but it fit. Um, and I, I, because the camera would fit this way only, uh, I couldn't access the battery pack when this thing was on there. And like, this is the extent of the height that this thing goes. Like, and like, look at how flimsy and chimsy this is. That's like, it's, it's literally so bad. It's just like tiny little plastic. It's nothing. It's, it's really, really awful. And the design and the make of this tripod that my camera is now on is really, really good. All right, so here's what I want to show you guys. Uh, these are two tripods that I have. My old one here and my new one. And this is the maxed out um, height potential. So as you come up, you can see that one's already getting maxed out there. This one hasn't even started. And that's maxed out here. And this one still goes up to my ceiling. Holy cow. I, I don't even know what to say about this guy. Don't put the camera down. And I'm 5'9" without shoes, and I have no shoes on. I'm 5'9". It's my old tripod, so as you can tell, below my boob height, because I got, you know, big, nice boob. Okay, and then this one, I mean, this thing is still, like, I, I don't even, there's no people that high, okay? If you guys are looking for a tripod that is tall, uh, yeah. This is your bang for your buck right here. And it took me maybe a minute to unscrew all these legs and get these to max height. Um, this one takes me just about a minute too. It's as simple as flipping this, snapping it up and snapping it down. I mean, it's pretty simple. This one's the same thing. You just twist this and pull up or twist this and it drops out by itself, which is nice. Guys, this is crazy. I, I, I just never seen a tripod so high in my life. I could, if you're an oversized model, I gotcha. 
you're, you're 80 inches tall plus i'm your guy and i mean it is down on the ground and i will take a picture of this on my iphone and show you guys how this looks as you guys can see here i've lowered the legs uh down to their bottom and this is look at that I mean, it, this thing is not, you could kick this thing right now and it won't fall. And like I said, it's super easy to take this camera on and off. Like I probably do it with one hand. All you gotta do is loosen this right here, right? Right here, my camera's off. And if I wanna put the camera back on guys, it's super simple. Just slide it right back into place. It's in place, you can kind of feel it when it's in that groove. And then you literally just tighten this knob down over here. And just like that guys, you're ready to shoot. I mean, this makes your life as a photographer, videographer, YouTuber, whatever, makes your life 10 times easier, guys. I've been struggling to record my videos for the longest time, and this is something that I should have invested in a long time ago. Like I said, super easy to tilt it back to. You just release the ball joints, and then you tilt it back to your desired, and boom, right there. Now you guys are looking up at me. That This is, uh, okay, yeah, like, I kind of feel stupid because it's something that I think I should have gotten such a long time ago that it would have helped me make my videos um, been much less stressful, just like the camera lens. Um, actually, in another video coming up pretty soon, guys, you're going to see this. This is another tripod, and I got another one, and that one is for all handheld video that I'm going to be doing. So, very happy that I have this now, and uh, and that's it. So, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And as always, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you with a nice old... Adiós.